Now we've got the new end on the uh, AeroQuip hose, we can now connect it to our stainless braided hose. Since this car came with an electric power brake unit that had several uh, plug-in harnesses, which we won't need with the Hydroboost, which has no electrical connections to it. So instead of cutting these off, we're just going to tape them up and push them out of the way. Just in case someone, for some reason, would ever want to put the electric brake booster back on, <clears throat> which is unlikely because there's no parts to repair it with. But we'll leave them here for some future owner. The owner had run this um, power wire through the electric brake booster. We had to cut it to get the brake booster out. So we're going to reconnect this and push it back into the firewall and get it out of the way. We're going to keep the power wire away from the brake line. If the wire ever shorts out, it will burn a hole through the brake line. That's trouble. We're just going to push the uh, former electric brake booster uh, wiring harness. We'll just push it down in the uh, into the fender well and, and tie it off. And um, it'll stay protected down there. One of the special fittings that we're proud of on the Hydroboost is this Dash 6 adapter that replaces the standard uh, hose barb that comes with the Hydroboost. This allows us to connect a Dash 6 line on the return. The uh, Hydroboost system has two returns, one from the steering box back to the reservoir, and the Hydroboost has its own return line back to the reservoir. These have to either be teed in at the reservoir or a separate port made into the reservoir to connect the Hydroboost return line. On this car we're going to stay with the uh, conventional rubber hose return line because the, the uh, Ford power string pump has a plastic tube on the uh, reservoir. So we're just going to use a push on hose for this system. Okay, we're going to install the uh, hose bar type return line into the Hydra Boost. And it has an O-ring seal, so it doesn't have to be super tight. Just snug is good. So this is our uh, Hydra Boost return line hose that's going down to the power steering, steering pump reservoir. And at that point, we're going to tee it into the uh, reservoir. The Hydra Boost return line always goes in the center port of the T because of the high flow coming out of the steering back to the reservoir. So the Hydra Boost always goes in the center port so that this flow doesn't interfere with the return of the Hydra Boost. This is the power steering return line hose. We're cutting it to put our T in there so the Hydra Boost return will also T back into the reservoir.
All right, now we've got the T installed for the Hydro Boost return, where it goes back into the power steering pump reservoir. That's all in and tight. And uh, just have to clamp up our hoses, and uh, all the hoses are now done. Now we've got the T connected down at the power steering pump for the Hydro Boost return. We'll do a final tighten up on our banjo fittings. Aim them where we want. Tighten them up with a 15 16 wrench. Those are tight. Now we'll uh, put the uh, return line on the hose barb. Snug it down with a hose clamp. And all our connections are done. Now it's time to uh, pour the fluid in. We prefer to use Dextron 3 fluid in the Hydro Boost as it tends to release the foam quicker, which cuts the, point, uh, the pump noise down. Turning the steering wheel back and forth with the wheels in the air helps purge the, uh, the rack and the steering box uh, of, with the air. And what we'll do is we'll crank the engine over, which will feed uh, fluid into the system at cranking speed. We don't want to start the engine right now until the system's uh, at least 90% less. Going into the new master cylinder, we did pick up a bubble of air and right in that section, so we're letting the rear brake's gravity bleed until we get that air bubble through, and then we'll close it off and the system will be bled. If while you're gravity bleeding, the master cylinder runs empty, you'll then get a lot of air into the entire master cylinder, which means you'll have to bleed the system completely through. So it's just easier to keep it full while it's gravity bleeding. Remember to leave the cap loose or off while the gravity bleeds. Well, we've completed the hydro boost installation. We've bled the brakes. We've got the power steering system uh, bled out. We've got, we have brake pedal. We have our lines tied up. Everything's put back into place. Now it's ready to go test driving.